This is another family favorite I make. It's broccoli rabe and sausage over pasta. So I'm steaming the broccoli rabe. All it is is two bunches of broccoli rabe in this pan, washed and cleaned and cut up, steaming it with a little water. Then I'll drain the water out and we'll season it with olive oil, garlic, and salt. Okay, and then the, in the oven, I bake my sausage. I just put it in, in a pan, in a baking pan on 375, and it cooks through in about 35, 40 minutes, and then we'll slice that up. And I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I forgot to tell you, I put the lid on here while I'm steaming it, and we'll wait for that. It doesn't take long at all for that to cook down. And uh, I'm not sure how many people like broccoli rabe, but in my house, we love it. And sometimes we just have that plain with sausage and we make a nice sandwich out of it. So it's a preference whether you want to put it over pasta or if you want to have it in a sandwich or just on a plate and eat it. It goes nice with a glass of my famous grape juice, a nice glass of wine. But anyway, I'll be back. Thanks okay, for so watching. So this is how the broccoli rabe looks after it's steamed down. And then I'm going to season it with some salt. Cover it up there pretty good. See, I got my salt here. I don't know if you can see it. Shaking salt on there. And uh, I have, I like fresh garlic on this and some crushed red peppers real nice. But I have people in the house that don't like that. So I'm going to just shake a little garlic powder on it. They don't like the pieces of garlic and I'll season it with some garlic powder. And, of course olive oil. I'm holding my phone in my left hand while I'm doing this, so I'm a one-man show here. Here we go. So, and I like, I love my olive oil. I'm generous with my olive oil because it's good for you and it's tasty. And that's it. And then I'm going to stir that up. I'll put it in a bowl and wait for my sausage to cook slice the sausage and put it right on top of there and then boil my pasta so I'll be back thank you let you know too after I put the olive oil salt and garlic powder on there and once again you can use fresh garlic or fresh red pepper on it which is always good I put it back on the heat for a few minutes put the oil and everything steam in it I don't want to burn it down though and that's it and then I'll put it in the bowl and wait for my sausage I'll be back. So I have my broccoli rabe waiting in my nice pasta bowl that was my mama's bowl love that lady. She taught me how to cook and she was an amazing cook and fed the neighborhood. But anyway, that's the broccoli wrap. And that is my penne pasta boiling. I'll be draining that out in about a minute. And we'll slice up the sausage and toss it all together. Let me show you. This is the penne style. They, that's what they wanted tonight. And I'll be back. Thank you. So that's so this is how it looks with just the broccoli wrap because I'm still waiting for the sausage. If you want to have it without meat, if you're a vegetarian, you can do it this way. It's very delicious. Or if you want to have it without pasta and just have the broccoli wrap and the sausage, or even the bro bro broccoli wrap alone if you like it, enjoy. And I'll be back. So I have my sausage all baked. Now a lot of people fry their sausage and that's fine too if you want to fry it. I like to save a little bit. There's plenty of oil and fat in the sausage to cook through and bake it in the oven. So that was on 375 for about 40 minutes. It's a longini sweet sausage. I let that set a little bit. Because as you can see, I tried to cut it too early over there and it breaks. So if you let it set a little bit, it'll come in nice even slices to top off your top of your uh, broccoli robin pasta. So I'll be back. Okay, and there you have it. Broccoli, broccoli rob sausage and penne pasta and then I'm going to sprinkle pecorino romano cheese on top some people don't want cheese you don't have to have it so thank you for watching if you want detailed descriptions on how to make this just notify me and I'll be happy to oblige have a great night thanks for watching and always have fun stay safe everybody.
the joyous news be spread, the wicked old witch at last is dead. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and always have fun.